In these problems, we are multiplying binomials and we've got a lot of negative signs to worry about. So something we, we just need to keep track of as we go along. The basic process is the same as you've been using. We're gonna FOIL these. We're gonna multiply the first terms, then the outside terms, then the inside terms, and then the last terms. And in the second problem, we've got a complication here. We've got a negative three out front of everything. We'll deal with that at the end. Let's try this first one. Just FOILing here, multiplying the first terms, I have 6c times a negative 3c. 6 times 3 is 18, so that's a negative 18. And c times c is c squared. All right, let's do the outside terms, 6c times a negative 4. Make sure you're bringing the sign along with these things. That's a negative 24c. Now our inside terms, a negative 7 times a negative 3c. A negative times a negative is a positive, so that's a positive 21c. And then finally, our last terms, it's a negative 7 times a negative 4. Again, a negative times a negative is a positive, so that's plus 28. Now we need to combine our like terms. We've got a negative 24c and a, and a positive 21c. That comes out to be a negative 3c. So we get negative 18c squared minus 3c plus 28. All right, let's try this one. And, uh, you know, we've got our two binomials, but then we've got this negative three out front of everything. My recommendation would be to ignore that negative three until the end and then multiply it through everything. Let's go ahead and, and FOIL the binomials first. So our first terms, y times y is y squared. Our outside terms, y times negative seven is minus seven y. Our inside terms, four times y plus four y. And our last terms, 4 and negative 7, would be minus 28. Now we need to combine our like terms in the middle here. Negative 7 plus 4, so that's a negative 3y. And I've got my y squared, minus 28. But don't stop here. Remember, this whole thing had this negative 3 out front. So at the end here, we're just going to multiply that through. Distribute it. Multiply it by each one of these. So a negative 3 times y squared is a negative 3y squared. Negative 3 times a negative 3y is a positive 9y. And negative 3 times a negative 28. Well, let's see. 3 times 30 would be uh, 90. This is going to be a positive because it's a negative times a negative. Uh, but we have to take away 6 from that. So it looks like that's 84. Positive 84. So that's a little bit of work with multiplying binomials when they have a lot of negative numbers.